Pray Until Saturation Happens is a weekly broadcast of testimonies, teachings, and prayer for the saturation of God's glory, leading to the transformation of every Colorado community. Welcome to Pray Until Saturation Happens. I am your host today, Amy Everett, and I'm excited to hear today from our guest, Corey Sullivan, with This Restored Heart Ministries. Welcome to PUSH. Well, thank you, Amy. I am so honored to be here, really and truly. Um, all that you're doing in the outreach of the prayer, oh, our nation needs prayer so bad. Definitely, and definitely. They need yes, and they need what you have to offer. So tell our audience a little bit about your ministry. Well, I am the founder of This Restored Heart Ministries, and I am the author of the best selling book, Destiny After Divorce. And my primary focus is to help people understand and know that healing, inner healing, needs to happen when you go through something that's so traumatic as such as a divorce. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. my story is I early on I walked with the Lord until I was about 18, and then I kind of you know had some things happen and I stepped away. Um, because I just thought I was never going to measure up to all the rules that I learned in church. Okay. And for the next two and a half decades, unfortunately, I, um, I mean, I was going to be the best person I could be, but, um, I got married, had a couple of beautiful girls and, um, who have since made me grandma and great grandma. And so (laughs) there's that, but, um, you know, it was really challenging. I, after my first divorce, I didn't go into any type of healing program. You know, the world teaches us, get back out there, Mm -hmm. get on that horse, ride that, you know, and everything will be fine. But um, unfortunately, I I drug my daughters through a couple of other divorces that Mm -hmm. um, really didn't need to happen had I done the healing I needed to do. So it's an education process that, you know, we do need healing and, um, and it needs to be from the heart. And it needs to be God-centered because really and truly, that's right. where true healing starts. Sure. So do you offer counseling services, educational services? I am a certified life coach. And so I actually work with people. Um, I'm also a, a SOZO leader in the northern Colorado area. Awesome. And so I do SOZO and combine it with um, things from my book. And I have classes. I work one-on-one with people. And Describe sozo to our audience. Sozo is, um, well, basically the word is a Greek word, which stand, uh, which in the Bible is 100, it's in the Bible, in the New Testament, 124 times for saved, healed, and delivered. So when Jesus healed the leper, he mm-hmm. sozoed the leper, mm-hmm. you know, and so on. And it's an amazing ministry. It was really and truly how I started my healing journey. And it is a journey. It's not a one and done thing. Healing is a journey. And you really need to give yourself grace because God's given you all the grace and mercy that you need in order to find that healing. So to find you, where's your website? My website is www.coreesullivan.com. And on there, I am, you'll find a little button for a, 30-minute free consultation to schedule on my calendar. I would love to see if we can't help you with, um, you know, getting some type of breakthrough on an issue or just some direction. That's really my whole heart is to help people find the healing they need. Mm, That's awesome. That is very awesome. And I, I believe there are so many of us that need that level of healing, that inner healing, the I mean, there's so many people walking with hurts and wounds. Um, I mean, I, I work with intercessors all over the state, and there's so many people that are hurt, hurting and wounded. And it is so um, such a passion of mine to see people like you mm-hmm. serving and helping people get set free from those bondages of, of anger, bitterness, resentment, all the, all the ungodly stuff that, that holds us back from the fullness of who God wants us to be. So I'm very excited about what you're offering. Thank you. Thank Let's spend you. some time praying into Let's this. Let's do this. Yeah, yes. if yeah. you would. You want to lead it off? I would love to. Thank you. So, Father God, we just lift up all of those whose heart is broken, is needing you, Lord, to come in to be the bomb of Gilead, to bring the healing 
that is needed in order for them to really and truly walk the path that you have designed for them. You know, um, I know, Lord, that you have, de you have designed marriage and the covenant of marriage to stay together, but you know sometimes things happen in marriages um, and there's free will, there's all kinds of things. But here's the thing that you have shown me, and I'm so grateful, and I, I thank you, Lord, and I praise you for it, is that you still love the divorced. Mm -hmm. You hate divorce because of what it does to us, but you love the divorcee, and you want healing for them. And you have, um, so Lord, we just lift up those who have those broken places in their hearts. And I just ask that you reach in and just show them your amazing love. And um, hmm. yes, Lord, you, you're you showing me a picture of just going in and just really and truly just touching hearts and um, bringing that healing. And <laughs> Lord, we lift up the families that have gone through divorce to come back to you and to learn again how to walk with you and walk even closer with you because you want to be in harmony. You created us to be in relationship with you. And divorce does not keep us from relationship with you. So, Lord, I just turn people's hearts back to you. Mm -hmm. I pray for that awakening, Lord. Yes. Waken your people, um, individuals, couples that are hurting, uh, individuals that are hurting. I ask for that awakening that... Um, that they, know, that they know in the core of their being that they need to get in front of the Lord and let the Lord heal, heal them. I pray that over you, if, you, if you're a, a product of divorce, if you are um, hurting from relationships that went south for whatever reason, Lord, I ask that you touch each individual right where they are. Amen. Release Amen. the balm of Gilead, Lord God. Yes into the core of their being, into their mind, their will, their emotions, that brings healing, Lord mm -hmm. God, that allows them to forgive the unforgivable, that allows them to release and let go of the pain and the suffering. I ask, Lord God, that every individual right now watching this that needs healing receives it, Lord God. Yes. I ask you to release your angelic hosts Surrender. to go to each individual, Lord, and minister to them in the, only, the way that only you can minister to each individual. Thank you, Lord, for setting them free. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, we lift up the children that are a uh, product of divorce. And Lord, we just ask that you bring that healing for them as well. And that their identity is first in you and then in their parents. And Lord, mm -hmm. we just speak to the, the parents to raise their children to come and know that they can trust you and that you can be the center of their family. You know, even though mom and dad aren't together anymore, they can still be the center of your family, mm -hmm. that you will be the center of their family. And we, and you know, Lord, I also speak that marriages be restored mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Um, I just know, Lord, that that is your heart, that those marriages be restored mm -hmm. and that they, um, they surrender um, and become humble for the things that you have for them. Mm -hmm. So Lord, we just know, Lord, that it is your heart that restoration, and you are, that rest, that people surrender so they can have the restoration, but it is your heart to bring mm -hmm. restoration, whether it's bringing the marriage back together or restoring us to who we are so that we can move forward in the fullness that you have for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And I kids. especially pray for men. Mm -hmm. I ask Lord God Amen. that you awaken men across Colorado to their emotions, mm -hmm. that they that they no longer compartmentalize and stuff like many men do. I ask Lord God that men be set free from their hurts and wounds from the past. I ask Lord that each man here in Colorado that has been hurt by a woman, hurt by um, parents, hurt by girlfriends, hurt by 
um, colleagues and coworkers. I ask, Lord, that each man uh, come to the awareness of where they have been hurt and how they have been wounded and that they move into a place of submitting to you, Lord God, that they yes. submit their heart, they submit their mind, their will, their emotions completely to you, Lord God, that you can bring the healing and the restoration into their lives that uh, totally turns around their life, totally turns around their relationship with you yes. and totally opens them up to love mm-hmm. the way you designed them to love. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And you know, Lord, we know the enemy has been working overtime on marriages because it's his desire that that they be canceled, that they that there's destruction. And Lord, we just know that you've already covered that. You've already put an end to him, and we cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And we just declare in the name of Jesus that, that people will come out of their divorce and thrive in everything mm-hmm. that you have for them. Thank you, Jesus. And chaos is canceled. And um, Lord, you're, you're good. You're doing such an amazing work. Mm-hmm. And thank you, Lord, for for your heart. Mm-hmm. Lord, I pray for the ministry workers like Corey, those that are serving you, those that have committed their lives to ministering and helping to other people. And I pray blessings on them in the name of Jesus. I ask, Lord God, that you give them deep wisdom, deep knowledge, deep understanding of the root issue for every person that comes to them for help. Mm -hmm. I pray that over all the healing and deliverance ministries across Colorado. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Jesus, that every minister worker has a greater level of anointing. Increase the anointing, Lord God, on people like Corey. Increase the anointing that they are able to hear, see, know, and understand um, your will for every person that they minister to. And I ask, Lord God, for that new anointing that you're you have prepared for this season, Lord, the new anointing that it, it doesn't have to be a journey anymore. I, I went through 10 years mm-hmm. of inner healing and deliverance for yeah. stuff that I went through. And I declare in the name of Jesus that it's no longer going to take peeling away the mm-hmm. layers of the onion. The Gadarene was instantly healed. Amen. And I declare Amen. in the name of Jesus that we are moving into that new season where you can be instantly set free Mm. when you choose to submit to the will of God and you choose to let others minister to you. So Mm. I ask Lord God for the release of that new anointing, that new, um, it's not a model. It's, it's, it's just, it's just that new anointing that, that you release Lord God that allows people to be set free from years and years and years Mm -hmm. of mental and physical and emotional torment. I thank you that that is released into Colorado, especially Amen. in this season. Amen. Tell people again where they can find you. They can find me at uh, www.corey, C-O-R-E-E, Sullivan, S-U-L-L-I-V-A-N.com. That is awesome. That is awesome. Well, I, I do bless you. And I'm so glad you were on today. Oh, I am so honored. These are these are the kind of uh, services that we want our audience. I hope you will, will check into Corey Sullivan's website and find ways to engage with Corey. If you're not, you're in northern Colorado. I am. In Windsor. In if Windsor. you're someplace else in Colorado, there are other healing, inner healing and deliverance ministries available to you. I encourage you to search them out. And um, we are here at with Pray Until Saturation Happens every week. We're on uh, YouTube and the uh, our Facebook page on coloradopraise.org, copraise.org. We look forward to seeing you again next week. And I declare in the name of Jesus that you are blessed and anointed of the Lord. God bless you. Pray Until Saturation Happens is sponsored by Rocky Mountain CTN in conjunction with Colorado Praise. Learn about the various ways that you or your church can get involved by connecting with us on Facebook or at copraise.org.